Hello everybody, uh, came in here, and today I'll be actually explaining how this roof cannon worked. I'll explain the mechanics and how I abused the spigot, uh, I guess, uh, you know, patch in order to roof cannon again. Um, I'll explain all that stuff now, but before I do that, I'm going to show you that it works again. Um, I'm not at 255 right now, I don't think, so let me go to this version over here. This version, I believe, is at sky limit. Um, you see, if you try to place burlocks, it doesn't work. If you place a dispenser here... Uh, put some TNT inside and light off. The TNT should despawn. Oops, I can't place it above. Yeah, it despawns right away. That's because it's at sky limit and I have the patch on. So when I fire this little cannon here, it should just stack the sand. I mean, it should hybrid as well, but I'm not too into that. Actually, yeah, it should be. It should hybrid because I have TNT in there as well. And I'll explain how it works on the other version. Yeah, see, it works. All right, cool. So anyway, let me explain how this works. So, um, let me explain each part, and then I'll explain the mechanics of it working. Um, so, from the button, uh, we have a few things that activate. First, we have these uh, boosters here, which will launch that piece of sand up and that piece of TNT up. We have a booster here that will power this TNT that will get aligned a certain direction to shoot this TNT up in a zero game ticket, so the tunnel affect it up to the top. Um, and we have uh, this piston up here. So this, these pistons right here are the main components of the cannon how, to reason why it works. So as you can see from this list here, I'm going to go through a few things. So this is the order of updates in Minecraft. Um, so at the top you have the packets, blah 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 blah, and we go to the tick schedule. Uh, now this has to do with repeaters, delay, chunks, etc. This also has to do with um, anything in redstone pretty much, uh, like pistons, stuff like that. And then all the way down here, we have the every, excuse me, update and load entities, and if unload dead. <clears throat> unload if dead. Now that's your sand and your prime TNT, your falling sand blocks, etc. So you can see that this tick scheduler is above the every tile voltage, excuse me, the unload entities and, and um, load entities uh, call. So it's above, so that means this is going to be processed first in the game before this gets processed down here. So if we go back to the game, what I'm doing is I'm shooting a piece of sand up in the same game tick as this explosion right here, so this tunnel effect, this piece of sand is going to get teleported from up here on the slab to right here, and then teleported up again with another piston push. So I'm calling the teleport method with a piston, so it's basically teleporting the entity to twice, and then I'm doing a move method with the TNT, which is going to be tunnel effect up here, and explode. Now this piece of sand is still an entity. It's an entity that is at 255.125. Now this piece of sand um, is above sky limit, but you're asking why it doesn't get clear. Well, it doesn't clear because tick isn't over yet. I'm now uh, going to move the sand back down. Since this piston is extended, there's a block there. So I'm going to go above. I'm the TNT. I'm going to give the sand downward velocity, and I'm also going to give it forward velocity. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing the sand back down to, back down to, to 255, and then forward. So it instantly stacks here. Now if you try to stack without a backboard or something, the sand's instantly going to break because it has no Y velocity so the game tries to stack it when it can't. So uh, basically to sum it up again, I'm calling two move or two teleportation methods with pistons and one move method with the TNT. So technically the rendering order of this is two teleportations, one move, it stacks, and then the 255 uh, check comes into play. So I stacked the sand before the 255 check even happened. So that sand and that TNT is already away from 255 to be cleared. Um, so it never is cleared. Now an easy way to patch this is to make it so that sand entities themselves cannot turn into solid blocks at 255. So that means you can't really, uh, how do I describe it, sand entities can't turn into full block. That's pretty much it. That's an easy fix. You don't have to worry about anything else, just make it so sand can't turn into full block. And there's the patch. I mean, servers like OK, where I told Abioj and stuff like that, uh, they have it patched, which is a simple fix. Um, so basically, that's that's the cannon. Um, I can show you other versions of the cannon too. So let's go to another one. Um, roof three. All right. Um, this is another one. This isn't the one I used in Fencer's video, but very close to it. Now this one, which I'll provide a download link to every single one of them, so if you guys really want. This one allows me to stack sand into a square down here below. So basically your whole roof becomes a beach. So then I just nuke the sand there and basically your roof's all dry as well as scattered. Uh, so that was a version of this, I mean that was a, <laughs> the version of this cannon. Um, now we're going to go to the original. So home roof 
This is your first one I made. This is sand. Oop, I lied. Now this one is very big and bulky. So, I mean, it, it works slightly different. I stack sand, then I shot a piece of TNT above it at Sky Limit. Zero ticking it up there to uh, hybrid it. I mean, like I said, this is even a worse design, but it was the first one that I came up with. Um, then it went from this to the home roof three cannon, which has a barrel that's blocked up so you can't get in the cannon. And then it went to another one, home, which one is it? Home trap? Oh no, it's over here somewhere. Well, anyway, regardless, I had some other iterations of it. Um, I'll provide a link to every single one of them so you guys can take a look at every single one. Uh, I mean, the mechanics all work the same. It's just two teleportations, one move method, and then you basically hybrid. Uh, that's that's how the cannon works. I mean, it's very simple. I mean, nobody come up with it or thought of it just because it's kind of abstract. You have to look at the rendering order of everything in order to figure it out. I mean, maybe some people might have tried it but were unsuccessful. But in general, um, I'll give it down a link and you can have fun rating. I mean, some servers are already patched, so you have to find a server that hasn't patched it yet. Um, and about it. So I'll see you guys maybe later. I'll probably release a uh, another cannon here soon. I don't know when, but it's going to be soon. Uh, it's another interesting concept that has to do with this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, have a good day. I'll see you guys later.